This fight is sponsored by Urban Tattoo and Piercing Studio of Arlington. All right, we're going to turn this over to the man with the greatest voice who's just gone red. Antonio Perkins. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by the Urban Tattoo Studio. It is scheduled for three rounds in the XKO Muay Thai Welterweight Division. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the next bank blue corner, a freestyle fighter. This evening, he is making his professional Muay Thai debut. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing at 170 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, presenting King Millie! And now across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the U.S. Army Red Corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record, two victories, two defeats. He stands six feet five inches tall and weighted at 170 pounds, fighting out of Fort Worth by way of Chicago, Illinois, presenting Nico El Suave. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, I'm All right, guys, we'll joining we'll Stephen Wynn, coming off of his top, first so UFC victory, yes, just sir, fantastic. Let's do this. And one of the things King Millie was telling me, the reason his coaches aren't here, they have got a guy fighting tomorrow night in the UFC off their team. Yep, yep, yep. We got uh, my coach is also there right now. We have Damon Jackson fighting tomorrow night, so we're very excited for that as well. Here oh. we go. All right, looks like both guys might be coming out southpaw. We got Nico, the Puerto Rican fighter here. Double jab oh, man. Right at the bat. Wow. Very active here. Boy, King Millie coming in, giving Nico uh, a wake-up call that, hey. Switching stance here. We are, we are going to fight. Ah, it's a slip. It's not MMA. We're going to let him back up. And even at 6'2", 6'5", six is a long way to get your leg up. Wow. Hey, these guys are throwing. King Millie is, uh, is letting it go. She's looking for the clinch here. Yep. You know, you wonder how much... You, you hope the guy's got enough gas to, you know, to be able to blow out like this. Coming right off the first round. It's looking like uh, King Millie is looking to close the distance while uh, Nico's trying to just keep that distance out using the jab, using the teep here. They both exchange jabs right there. Definitely tell Nico's got that boxing experience where he keeps 100%. the elbows in. 100%. Covers up well. And throws short. For a tall guy, that's tough to do. Yeah, these guys are throwing hands for sure. Nice jab cross right there. Beautiful boxing, like I said. Just like you said, oh, spinning back is just barely missing. Yeah, King Millie just, just nice missing that. knee in the clinch there. Uh-oh, he might have him hurt a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to see a head kick here. Yeah, Nico hurt him with that knee, no doubt about it. And King Millie is going to. Nice elbow. King Millie is going to have to uh, get a little recovery in here. Oh, that's going to help. Wow. Just a slip, but yeah, that hurt him, didn't it? Yeah, I think he caught him with the knee right to the solar plex, I believe. I mean, I'm just, I mean, the, the, the legs and the length of, of, nice. Nico, of Nico is just amazing. Beautiful uppercut cross here. I like to see King Millie uh, chop the legs up a little bit, you know. Uh, Nico's a little bit taller than an opponent. Chop those legs down. Let him, let, make, make him stop moving so much. And yeah. then pinpoint him down, yep. chase him down. Mm, body. Two southpaws here going to battle. Spinning nice back spinning kick. back. Nice spinning back kick. Boy, I tell you, hit him right, right in the solar plexus with that too. Very well timed. Yeah, Nico has a good game face because I know that. I know that stump. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, another spinning back. spinning back fist. I like that he's going for that. You know, it's uh, 
it's, it's different, you know? You can catch some guys off of that. Well, and it makes him wonder, are you going to throw the spinning back kick or are you going to throw the fist? Good first round. Yep, so we'll get a two-minute break here. And uh, I wish we had mics on the coaches. I want to know what... Uh, I want to know what these guys, uh, these coaches are telling them. Yep. Well, one of the things about King Millie, he is a black belt in karate and taekwondo, which would explain his educated feet. Right. And I think, I think right here you can... He's kinda, pushing that pressure on him yeah, right you, away. Yeah, and because it looks like Nico is going to come out and attempt to fight long. Yep. Which he should. Nikos has a, has a really nice jab here. I'd like to see him follow up with a cross or a left hook or a right hook here. Oh, nice movement, too. Poof, another nasty knee up on the rib cage there of King Millie. King Millie's really looking for that spinning back kick to the body here. looking for that uppercut here. I'd like to see him follow up when, it, when he pulls his head back, follow up with a cross there. Another spinning back kick. Yeah, turn that into a spinning heel kick. He had good head movement just before that too to miss a couple really ugly, you know, I, bad intention shots from Nico. I like to see uh, Nico use. Yeah, there we go. Well, I like to see Nico use some a little bit of his legs. He's he's very long. He's very tall. A little bit more teeps. Even those those knees in, those knees in the clinch were working very well for him. You know, uh, maybe try to set some of those up there. And it's his height and length. He could get away with using those knees even at distance. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Nice. Oh, oh man. Knees. Oh boy. He, King Millie just missed having his head kicked off. Oh, 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 the swing and the miss. The big elbow and a miss. Wow. I'll tell you what, if that landed, though, it would have been devastating. But uh, good job on Nico for a uh, good head movement. I was going to say, you, uh, you got that boxing thing going right there with that head movement. And Nico up on his toes now. I think he's feeling a lot better than he did in the first round as far as just being in the fight. There you go, throw it in the pocket. Ooh, nice leg kick. I think that might have uh, wobbled him a little bit with the leg kick there. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. He's back up. Oh, he might, he's showing a little bit of fatigue here. If Nico presses right now, he might be able to finish, to be honest here. Yeah, keep, keep chopping that leg. Yeah. Millie is tough, though, man. He's just in there. Game. Ten seconds left. Ooh. Steven, something I just found out. These guys took this fight on four days' notice. All right, fight fans, this is your third and final round. Touch of the gloves, good respect. Steven, who you got winning? I think so far, uh, Nico barely has an edge just because of the very first round with those knees that he's landed, and he's been able to control the range pretty well. But I'm not going to count out Millie yet. He's been pressuring still. He's, he's still game. He's still in the fight, throwing punches. So uh, it could be for anybody right now. Nice job there. Ooh. In the tie clinch. Times like these, elbows and knees can really happen. Yeah, these God. guys are throwing. I was going to say, they're throwing mirror image shots at the same time. Yeah. Nice left hand right there. It connected. Millie connected with that left hand there. But now Nico's coming back with that crispy boxing there. Good head kick. See, I want to see Nico use a little bit more kicks there. Oh, 
Oh, he hurt what his happened? knee. He hurt is his that knee. what is that what happened there? He hurt his knee a little bit there. Oh, it's, that's it. They're gonna have to call this. He tweaked his knee. He tweaked his knee. Boy, that's a shame. King Millie has 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 popped his knee. Damn, that is a shame. Damn it. Not not the way I wanted to go down. No, we'll get the doctor in here real quick. Oh man. Yeah, that. He took that step, and I don't. It was his patella. You know, obviously he was taking a lot of damage on that knee already, uh, being kicked, and uh, I think I think one wrong step, or uh, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to interview him here, hopefully, and, and, and see. Yeah, and and guys in the guys in the booth, can we get a replay of that and just let let let's see how King Win uh, Princess Lebanese Grill bringing this replay to us, just to see how he what if we can see the step here. Yeah, it, 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 it's very weird. It's it's, definitely, it, it definitely wasn't a strike. It was definitely a step. Yeah. Um, but I think it was a pre-existing injury that happened in the fight. That uh. Yeah, I, that was it was really that was odd. It is great showcase for the fans tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your three Arab and hard is going to stop into the contest at one minute and forty-eight seconds into the third and final round, declaring your winner by TKO. Any other more, you know, great uh, uh, props and, and do because it really is his his teaching and his and his mentoring that got me to this way. Well, I tell you what, it, it takes good mentoring, but it, it leaves it up to the guy in the ring to do the damage. And, yeah, yeah. and you look sharp, my friend. So I, I got to tell you. Incredibly impressed. Congratulations. What's next for you, sir? I, I want to I get back in there as soon as I can. I got a boxing fight coming in uh, Louisiana, hopefully by the, the end of the month. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Y'all keep looking for me. Follow me on Instagram, Nico on the sports, Suave 773. Uh, we're going to keep this thing going. You know, I'm excited. I get more confidence every time I go in there, and it's because of my coaching and my team. And, you know, I want to shout out my coach, Chuck Dorsey, again, and my teammates, Kevin Holland and Joel Guzman and uh, Sandman James and Random Marcos, you know, they, they, they really are helping me grow into the fighter I am today. Well, you've got some great teammates there, but at the end of the day, man, you're the one that goes in there and does it. Congratulations yeah. again, Nico. We look forward to seeing you again. Enjoy your victory, Thank sir. You guys. Great fight, my night. friend. Great fight. You All represented right. for Puerto Rico, man. Good hey, job. You know, para, para, para mi gente, you know, para, para que tú lo sepas.